and here I am in Camtasia Studio. You can see my library tab is open, and I've created a little uh, folder, I suppose, called Z, so it sorts down here at the bottom because that way I can find it easily. And if I expand it out, you can see I've got a Control C keystroke, a Control E, Control M. I've tried to save all the different keystrokes that I might use. And here I'll just drag a Control M down here to my track one. So what I did, um, the thing I like to do, let's expand you out. There we go. Let's zoom in on you. You'll notice that I've got a spotlight call out. And then I've got my Control M keystroke here, which kind of came in off the, the side. So that that's what the recording gave me. And I always put a spotlight behind it. Um, I like the spotlight to completely disappear. What the spotlight's for? Let me just show you this. Uh, okay, so I've got a Robo Help. Um, here's an exercise, and let's just take these guys here. I need to be on another track. Let's undo that. Undo that. There we go. Let's move you up onto track two, and I'll move this exercise down here just to have something to compare against. So you can see that I've got here's a exercise your skills, and you know whatever I'm showing, I would want this Control M to show on top of. So what'll happen now? Notice what what's going to go on as I drag this over. Okay, see how it dims and darkens the screen. That's because I like to combine a spotlight call out with my keystrokes to give the keystrokes total focus. Do that. And that's why we see a spotlight here and the keystroke here. That way it kind of dims the screen, gives it total focus. Now, how did I get those? Let's show you that. I'm going to do a Windows R and type Notepad. So, Notepad is running. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work, if at all, because I'm using a different application to record this because I know. Just like you can't take a camera and take a picture of the camera you're using to take the picture, uh, Camtasia Studio won't let me record a recording, I do not believe. So if I record the screen here, I'm using a different product right now. It's called uh, Adobe Captivate, and I'm using it in the video demo mode. So what I want to do is to minimize all these things. Got a lot of things open. So what I'm going to do is to issue some keystroke commands. So in my recording, I'm not seeing it come up here. It may be because I'm occupying the recording with uh, Captivate. thought I told it to record the screen. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, where's the screen recording? It may not like a... Well, there's the recorder. Ah, finally. Finally. Okay. So, in my tools and options, as I record the screen, I believe I want to capture keyboard input. Right? So, I want to make sure I've done that. So now that I've done that, you know, just to slow down so it doesn't really tax my machine. I'm running an i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, it's probably still not enough. So I've defined my recording area very, very small. Uh, it looks like it's picking up my audio here. So I'm just going to simply click the record button. I get the Camtasia countdown. And then I'll give Notepad Focus, and I'm going to capture perhaps Alt F, and capture a Windows uh, R. It produced Notepad, as you can see here. I'm going to capture the Windows right arrow. Now that made Notepad move, right? So Windows left arrow puts it back. That's probably enough. Let me click Stop here. And it should give me the preview. 
dun, dun, dun. So the machine's a little bit slow because it's busy. Hopefully this recording will come out. There it goes, creating the video file. Okay, save and edit that. You can see I've got a lot of recordings. I'm going to call it Capture 11. That's cool. I'm going to throw it away later. So I'm good. Camtasia Studio should now open up. And it did. So now I believe what I need to do is to. I've got to show the keystrokes, right? So if I right click, um, generate keystroke callouts. And you can see them here. Windows left, Windows right, Windows R. So I click Generate, and I get them here. Let me delete this guy. So here's my, let's see what keystroke that was. That was my Alt F. Now if I wanted to save that, I'd select it here. And then I could right click that guy and I could add the playhead selection to the library. It probably prompt me for a name. Oh, it, it just gave it a name. That's cool. So if I wanted to use that later, let's double click here. Let's delete it. Put my playhead here and I just right click this guy and add to the timeline at the playhead. And look at that. There's my Alt F keyboard shortcut. Don't really need him here, so I'm going to delete him from the library because I've got lots and lots of other keystrokes that I think I might need to, to use here. So um, hopefully it's going to give everybody an idea of what I'm doing. Now, basically, to get the uh, the grouping, what I did was I went to the callouts and I clicked the drop down here and I used the uh, was it spotlight call out? I want to add that. Move it down here at the bottom. Perhaps time it the same as my Alt F. I held the Shift key down and clicked, and then I want to right click those guys and group them. Okay, I could name it. Come on. Come on. Can I rename it? Yeah, there it is. Um, Alt F. Then I could right click the group and I could say, well, add that asset to the library. And that would give me hopefully what I wanted. So hopefully that uh, totally explains kind of what I did as far as like adding all my little callouts to the library here. So we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.